Turning to AI. Yes. How is BGI using generative AI and what role do you think it can play in multi-omics big data analysis? You know, we have already used it. But in past, we are not called them AI. Maybe we call them machine learning or deep learning, something like that. I think that really, you know, it's a very useful tool. It can help the doctors and even the public quickly understand the language of life. That is to understand, you know, everyone's personal genome reports. First, I think we call the NLP, natural language process. But you know, the most uh, language people speak is not really natural. It's just the human language. It's not natural language. English, Chinese, Japanese, I think there's only human language, which is the really natural language. You know, that is the language of DNA. It's the real natural language. Human language is generally only one dimensional, maybe two dimensional. Well, when we speak, when we think about the language of DNA, amino acid, protein, other small molecules, at least there's four dimensional, maybe much more layers, much more omics. They are not only have only special dimensions, but also how about the timing? How about the, you know, it works with the very high speed. This means that large generative models are very suitable for DNA and other studies of the language of life. Second, you know, AI, artificial intelligence, have three pillars, algorithms, computer powers, and the data. In many scientific fields, such as life science, I think the amount of data is still not enough to support the generative AI. So, BGI, our current work is still very focused on increasing the amount of sequence data and other omics data. We want to construct the multi omics data together. We often talk a joke. No budget for algorithm optimization. With enough budget, you should buy more GPUs. In our region, no budget, you just do the data mining. If you have budget, you need more sequencing. So I think what amount of data is large enough, we will see some conclusion will emerge, they will drop out from the noise, we will see the real signals.